Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use Teapot and we'll focus on classification. Now, what is Teapot? Teapot is an AutoML algorithm. And what is AutoML? Automatic machine learning means that it is a library in which it tries a bunch of several different types of models. You can specify how many you want. It really depends on how much time do you have at hand. And then it would provide you what would be the best model to use for your given problem. For me, AutoML is the future of machine learning in general because with a very simple lines of code, as you'll be able to see, in the end, you should have what should be the best model for your problem. If you're interested in learning more about what I do, I have some Udemy courses to which I'll leave the link in the description of this video. To kick this off, we need to install some libraries. So the first one would be to install teapot. So pip install and then teapot. And then let's also install pi dataset for us to get a dataset. pip install and then pi dataset. And here we go. So let's do control enter. And I'll pause here for like some brief seconds while this one runs. All right. And now that is done, let me close this. And then the next step is to import some libraries. And for us, so from teapot, and then we import the teapot classifier. And then from pi dataset by data set, we import data. And then finally, we import pandas SPD. And let me correct here class C fire. And here we go. So control enter and open a new line of code. Let's get the data. So data equals and then data open parentheses, single quotes, and then Titanic. And then let's also have a look at it. So data dot head here you go control enter and we see here so survived the sex the age a bunch of string variables so objects so let's transform them into dummy variables so very quickly and here we go so data equals to so pd get underscore dummies and then inside we include our data and then drop first equals to true. So we don't fall into the dummy variable trap and then data equals to and then we do or better yet, we actually want to have a look. So data dot head just so that we can see its current status and we see that everything is a dummy variable. Let's open a new cell line. And here we isolate X and Y and y equals to we go to our data and it is the survived underscore yes and also with the capital s and then afterwards is our x so x equals to and then we do our data dot i lock and then it's everything but the last one so we do all the observations comma up until minus one. So the one on the right is excluded. Let's do control enter and go to the next one, which is to create the training and the test set. And here we go create training and test set. And how to do this. So we need to import something. So from sklearn dot model selection, we need to import the train test split. And then we create our X train, our X test, and then we create our Y train, and then the Y test equals to use the train test split function that we have just imported. And then inside, we are going to include our X and then our Y. And then we also need to specify here a train size. And here we go. So train size 
equals 2 and then let's include 0 0.8 and then so that you have similar results to me random state equals to 15 0 2 and here we go let me put here an equals 2 and let's do control enter and now yes it's finally time that we do teapot and we'll create a model here so model equals 2 and then we use our teapot classifier and then we include the generations what is the generation so this is how many models do we want it to try let's keep it simple let's put five but of course you can put 50 500 you know whichever value you actually want let's put population size so how many observations we want here let's put 20 again i really want to make this fast just to show you the structure and then the verbosity, so how much do we want to be communicated or how much do we want Python to tell us what is actually doing. And then again, random state and again equals to 1502 so that you have similar results to me. And then after this, so model dot fit, because then we need to fit it to our X train and then to our Y train. And here we go. And then finally, what we do is that we print the score so what is the best result so print and then we do model dot score and then we include our x test and then our y test here you go let's do control enter and for this one it should be quite quite fast i actually did a try and take like several hours when i did when i put like a hundred generations and a huge uh, population size of course when it comes to this titanic data set it's also a tiny tiny one but for sure do give it a try it's also a fun one and at least for me it really does help and it really does bring some insights for you to use and as well to really make you more efficient when it comes to your job we are already at 80 percent but we should be over quite soon in regards to this, the output is that it will tell us what is just the best model. There is an, another option which I'll not cover in which you can actually even export the code for that said model. But I'll also leave a link to the GitHub of Teapot so you can have a look and see what else can you do with it. And just to finish this off, so we can see that the best model is apparently logistic regression with a penalty of on the L2 and then C, this one I actually don't know, equal 0.01. Of course, again, we just tried five. If we tried more then the best one, maybe it would not be logistic regression, but it would be something else. I hope that you saw how easy it is. The key thing is really, again, to make this bigger and to try more things. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video. And until then, have fun.